Hello, how you doing? It's Mr. Do the Math here, and today we're going to talk about the area of kites and rhombuses. All right, rhombus. so. <laughs> all right, so if I do this, if I do this, um, and then I draw this one, and I do this, tell your shoulder partner what you see. What's what do you see about these two shapes? Tell your shoulder partner everything. One is one. Hey, that looks like I'm going which like the same. Well, you can't but they like move. Alright, so, here we go. Um, hey, what did your show partner say about this shape here? Alright, but like, what did they say about it? One congruent and one not. One is congruent? What's congruent about one? Oh, the size of the size of each. Hey, one's triangle. All of the sides are congruent. What? I mean, they get, I mean, <laughs> I mean the square. One is the square? Yeah. Because yeah. they're up. They're up, they're up. Why are you saying that this is square? Because all the four sizes are equal. All the four sizes? But there's something else that needs that, that a square needs in order for it to be a square. What's that? A right angle. Right, there's no right angles here. Right. Uh, yeah, there's some acute, some obtuse. Uh, what's up? What are you going to say? Yeah, so you got two pairs of congruent sides, right? So, um, so again, yeah, you guys jumped on it. This is a rhombus, and this is a kite, right? So a kite, they have they have two pairs that are like congruent, basically two pairs of sides that are congruent. Okay, what about in a rhombus, all the sides are congruent? What if I do this? What do you what do you, what can you tell me about this right here? It, it makes triangles. It makes four right angles. They make four right angles, right? That's what happens to the diagonals of kites and the diagonals of rhombuses, kites and rhombuses. Okay. So, with that being said, what do you where if we were thinking about like finding the area of a of a kite or a rhombus, like how would we figure out what the height is and what the uh, what the uh, base is? Uh, you cut it in half. You cut it in half? No, wait. Never mind. I mean, let's do it. Like, if you cut it in half like this, right? Yeah, you make a triangle. You make a base, right? Yeah. And then if you cut it in half like this, you got, like, the height. Yeah. Right? Basically. Basically. Yeah. To some degree, right? So, in essence, the diagonals, the diagonals represent the height and the base, right? The diagonals represent the height, height and the base. And then what else do you see when we cut it in half and create what? Triangles. Yeah, yeah. So um, with that being said, the uh, formula for both a kite and a rhombus is going to be what, Kiara? Isn't it uh, area equals um, base times height divided by 2 times 4? Whatever. Not quite. What's up, Haley? Would you add up the diagonals? Would you add up the diagonals? Close. So since we just since we're coming up with the conclusion, what else do we have? Um, What's up, Aiden? <gasps> right, right. So look, if this diagonal represents the base and this diagonal represents the height, and when you cut them in half and you create these triangles, then like I don't even know the triangle part even adds to this. But diagonal one times diagonal two over two is the area of a kite and a rhombus. Okay? So that's your formula. Okay? So if you're given if you're given the measure of the diagonals, you could um, multiply them and divide by two and you have your area. And that's the same for both shapes, the rhombus and the kite. Okay? We good? Alright, let's do an example then. What if I have this picture? You follow me, boss? Of course. You follow me? So we got this picture here, and we got this going on, and this going on, uh, uh. and they do this. They'll say this is 14, and then they'll say this is 6. What do you have here? What can you tell me about this picture here? Um, yeah, Aiden, what do you got? So you have the two diagonals. You got your two diagonals. You got your, you got your diagonal 1 and diagonal 2. All right? So the, Find the area, you would just do 14 times 6 divided by 2, 14 times 3, right? 
Right. Which would be what? Wait, why are you times six? Oh. I'd be six divided by two. Really? Right? Which is 42. Everybody good with that? So the beautiful thing about the, the half part is you could divide any one of these by two and then start your multiplication. But anyways, the formula is, again, D1 times D2 over 2. Okay? All right, let's look at, this. Let's look at another example. Let's try to... All right, yeah, let's look at this one right fast. Number 3. Example 3. We'll use this rhombus here. It's already here. All right? Got this rhombus here. And I got to say, from here to here is 40. And uh, from here to here is 30. What's the area? Well, what would you do to calculate the area? Mm. Alright, what would you do? What do you got, Kiara? I mean, Kiana? Would you multiply those like 30 times 2 for the height? 30 times 2 for the height? Oh, I put 40 times 2 for the height. Alright, so then, so you got the whole, the whole thing is 60. The whole thing is and this hole is 80? Yeah. yeah. Alright? So then the area is still, the area is to be what? 60 times 80 divided by 2. 60 times 80 over 2? Mm -hmm. Which gives you what? It gives you 8842, 400, 200, wait, 4,200, no, no, 4,800 divided by 2 is 200, no, 2,000 and 400. Get Alright, here we go. First part, I was right. 480 divided by 2. Then you get what? Oh, 480. Oh, why is it 80? Say it louder. 240. 240. Why is it 80? Yeah. 6 times 8. I know, but like, why? So, what? wouldn't there be 2 zeros? It might be. Is yeah. it? What would it be? There should be 2 zeros. Yeah. And the other two be 0 too. See, I was right. I was smart. I was right. smart. You said that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Shelby? Ain't mm -hmm. no capsule. So, uh, didn't you just do 30? Go that way. 40 divided by 2. 30 times 40? Yeah, I mean, divided by 2. Deal with 2. Yeah. Well, it, if, what about if you do 30 times 40? Times, 30 times 40 is what? 1200 times 2. So like this is what you could do, right? So the formula is diagonal one times diagonal two over two, right? They gave you half of both of those, right? So essentially what you could do is just take a full diagonal and keep one diagonal a half. So you could have did eight times eighty times thirty and got twenty-four. Or you could have did sixty times forty and got twenty-four hundred twenty-four thousand. 24,000, 2400, okay? Alright, let's let's challenge ourselves with a little bit more. Oh, yeah, let's look at this one. Alright, so, we got us a, we got us a kite, looks like. Got a kite, alright? And it says that the height is two times and the base is x. Right? It says it says the area the area for the kite is 72.25. The area is 72.25. Alright? What's the measure of all the sides? What's the measure of the diagonals? Alright, so what what's the first thing you would do if you got the area and you're trying to find these? Yes, Dick. You will write the formula, alright? The formula is D1 times D2 over 2 equals area. Alright? It's the next thing you want to do. Plug it in. Substitute, right? Plug it in. My dad, he was a math teacher too. He would say plug and chug, right? Plug it and then work it out. Alright, so we're giving we're giving the area. 72.25 equals 2x times x over 2. Alright? Alright, so let's chug. Let's work it out. So we got these x's. So we're going to get 2x squared 
um, over 2 equals 72.25. Then we're going to multiply both sides by this 2. All right? All right? What's 2 times 72.25? You got to calculate. Yes, sir. 144.5. 144.5. Five. Five. Equals 2x squared. All right? Then what we do, Ty? Uh, Say it. Factor. Factor. By doing what? Do you want to square root first? Yeah. What about this two? Let's take care of this two first. Okay. Divide by two. Yeah, it's divide by two. All right. When you divide by two, what do you get? Seventy-two point two five. Seventy-two point two five. Then we got to take the square root of it. Oh yeah, because technically we just did that. All right. So then what? What's the square root of seventy-two point two five? Eight point five. Eight point five equals the diagonal, right? So if eight point five equals x, then this is eight point five, and this is eight point five times two. It's eight point five times two. So how do that? Huh? Seventeen. Seventeen. Right. All right. So what's your question, Kiko? I think I did that one. Well, I did it. So let's go back to it, right? So we got we got the information. Right? I always say write your formula down and then substitute in your given values, right? Whatever's been given. So we wrote our formula down and then we substituted. We were given an area and we were given some identity for the diagonals, right? X, 2x and x. Then from here we solved. Alright? One thing that we could have did differently about this particular problem is the fact that it was like it was a 2x squared over 2, right? So we could have canceled that out. And we could have just had the area equals x squared and went straight, we could have went straight down to this part of the problem right there. Okay? Alright, so I, essentially like the area of a kind of area of a rhombus is just the diagonals, the, the, multi, the product of the diagonals divided by 2. That's it. <clears throat> I wish I had a more challenging question. Do I have a more challenging question? Do you find a more challenging question? No. No, you think we're good? Yeah. yeah. I think so too. Wait a minute, because then you're going to come up with some weird questions. No, I mean, I think that's, I think that's, I think this is pretty much it. This is for, this is for a kite and a rhombus. So you just need to identify the diagonals. Now, there will be cases where you probably have to find um, a diagonal or two, but in order to do that, you just use Pythagorean theorem because you have right triangles there. Okay? Any more questions? All right. So, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you got any questions, comment below. Let's do the math out.